Okay, we're set up to try to clean this oil furnace. Now, I'm not telling you this is the best way to do this. I'm actually telling you uh, you really should probably have a vac truck come out and do this. Uh, I'm going to show how you can do it if you have to. But a shop vac, a really powerful shop vac, will work sort of. Uh, it's kind of do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, anyway, I pulled the vent off. I've also pulled these clean out covers off. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start my vac up and start vacuuming uh, out of the clean outs. But here's a little doohickey that I make up for this. Uh, and I told you in the previous video on these clean outs that you need air compressor. Well, I've taken a uh, air gun like that and I've added this long uh, tubing to it. Now what that means is I can blow air, say like into here, I can also blow it into here and suck out of the other side. It'll give you an idea of what's going to happen when we do this. See all that crap comes out of there? Okay, I'm going to put the vac on there and because I'm using this thing to kind of blast, you get better uh, removal of crapola. So we're going to start this the vac up. It's going to be noisier than heck. Okay, after being as thorough as I can, I went ahead and put the plug back in. Uh, reasonably clean inside. I used high temp silicone, it's like 650 degrees, that's about the highest I could find. And uh, that should do it. So, uh, maybe take another look here. You can kind of see what that looks like inside there. Uh, it's black, but it's not, doesn't have any soot layer on it. So, now we've cleaned up the heat exchanger of the oil furnace. Now you notice I did this on a uh, high boy. Uh, low boy, eh, it's not going to work so good on most of them. They don't have clean outs, although a couple of them did. But uh, I still recommend you use a vac truck to do this. But uh, if you have to, this is a way you can clean the heat exchanger on the oil furnace. Remember, one-eighth of an inch of soot is uh, about equal to an inch of uh, fiberglass insulation. So it's a very good insulator, and you want as little as that as you can get away with on a heat exchanger.